good for anything. And you say, All right, we're on about a minute 32 of the snake hunt. Uh, Austin, Sean, Zach, Alexis, uh, Hebner, and I have been out here looking for the snake. We found a water moccasin and we attempted to kill it. I uh, almost had it. Bit me in the calf. <laughs> the snake hunters will prevail. I really had a great time at DECA State. I really liked that I was successful and had a great time with my friends. And I had a great time making the episode too. It was lots of fun. Greatest 8921 memory has got to be the sand dunes and that camping trip. There's something about being in the wilderness with all your closest bros. It just, it just means something. My greatest memory of 80921 was probably the DECA State episode. Uh, just all the personal ridicule that I got was always funny for Decca. Uh, and then the end of the episode where I threw my medal in the lake, that was uh, that was pretty memorable for me. My greatest 80921 memory was probably talking about how we were going to win Decca. Next we're time you see us, we'll be on stage. Going into it thinking we were going to be last place, and then next thing you know, we're on stage holding up a trophy. Um, so my greatest 8921 memory is probably the Decca State episode because I got to kiss a girl and it was awesome. My greatest 80921 memory is from episode 8, the Sand Dunes episode, where we made it all the way top, all the way to the top of the Sand Dunes and and we were able to sandboard and, and run all the way down. My greatest 80921 memory has to definitely be uh, having the opportunity to watch Soto do his hair. Uh, nobody, nobody in the world understood how he got his hair to look so good every morning. So it was quite the, quite the memory to be able to watch him do his hair. You know, get it all up and looking good. Uh, my favorite 80921 memory has to be the Deck of State, just because the whole experience in itself was just so. Uh, so great overall. Everything about it was like the, from the competition to the filming to spending time with uh, everyone there. Just a, a, as a senior, being there for one last time was really, really honestly just one of the best times I've ever had. It'll always hold a place in my heart. My greatest in one one memory, uh, probably my favorite episodes filming were uh, the Sand Dude episode and the Snow Day episode. Those were really fun, trying to get you know, the coolest the coolest runs down the hill or the coolest plays. That's probably got to be obviously just the making of 80921. It was just one of the. Sounds dumb, but it was one of the best things I was a part of. It was just so great and I loved it a lot. My best high school memory has got to be football. Just the feeling of doing something that matters and that's important succeeding at it. There's nothing like it. My best memory of high school was probably um, a culmination of the sporting events and all my friends. Um, I threw a lot of parties at my house and did a lot of fun things at my house. And then uh, supporting my friends in sporting events like football team, made it to the semifinals this year and then the baseball team making run in the playoffs and the basketball team. Um, just a lot of great memories of sports and friends. Uh, my best memory of high school is probably walking out of the locker room with my friends to be greeted by my friends and embraced and hugged and love. I'll go with throwing water balloons at cars and the cops chased us for a while, so that was a lot of fun. 
My best memory of high school is when we took the dream team of Carter, Draper, and Marshall, the underdogs of DECA State, to the championship. We didn't get first, but we got enough. We took them, we got it to nationals, and that's what matters. My best memory of high school was probably everything surrounding the fall of this last senior year, and especially the football season, and being able to have an incredibly successful and, and record-setting season for the Discovery Canyon football team. Hanging out with my friends over the years has been a really great time. I got to go with like the homecoming game. Uh, I was on my birthday. That was pretty sweet. Uh, the same you had a birthday. And that was awesome. And then I grew up a lot and learned a lot of things. Um, experienced a lot with my friends. Learned who really cares about me. Learned who I really care about. And uh, and I, in reality, it was just honestly the best four years of my life. Football was fun. But it wasn't the football game or the things that happened in the game that was special to me. It was after the game, when you'd see your friends and you hug all your friends who didn't play with you, and you knew that they were proud of you, and it was awesome. It was just as awesome for them as it was for us that they were sharing the joy that we had in winning a hard-fought victory and seeing all your teachers and your parents and getting the hugs with girls after the game. I mean, it's, we've been together for so long, and it's just, it's hard that I have to go so far away, and that just the thought pops in your head that you, you might never see these guys again, which really makes it rough. To me, the hardest part about saying goodbye is knowing that we're all going off to different lives, that everything's all going to be different, and that we're leaving what we have right now behind. Saying goodbye is uh, not having everybody over my house all the time. Um, that was pretty consistent for me in high school. Having everybody over my house and always being surrounded by my friends and uh, being up in Minnesota where it's a completely new environment, so I don't really have that uh, right off the bat. So that would definitely be a change. It's, I'm happy to see them go in whatever direction they do. Hello! Uh, I won't be all right, there. let's go for a tour. Continue to have these awesome memories with them. Uh, the hardest part about saying bye to my friends, obviously it's hard to say bye to my friends, but I'm a positive person, so I think Here with Sean Garland, I'll see Sean, all these people again on getting since brain. I'm close I love friends. Brain, so it's not really goodbye, it's more of a till later type of situation. The hardest part of saying goodbye to all my friends is knowing that for a couple of them, I probably won't ever see them again. This is the last time that I'll see them again. The hardest part of saying goodbye to my friends are that for the majority of them, um, I probably won't see them for, for multiple years. And, and if I do see them again, um, then I know that our relationship won't won't be the same and we won't be as close as we are now. So um, knowing that that relationship is, is just gonna decrease from here is, is pretty hard. After spending this these past three years with them, it would be hard saying goodbye to not seeing them for such a long time. Uh, most of them, most of the guys, you know, they are going to school with with another one of the dudes, like Spencer and Zach, Dylan and Austin and Soto, you know, but for some of us, you know, we're not gonna see any of them at all because we're gonna be going to different places. So it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be interesting to see how everybody does. I've spent so many years with these guys, 10, year, 10 plus years with most of them, to think that I'm gonna go into the next chapter of my life without them really is just, I don't know. It's terrible to think that, but you know, everything about it was really special. I'm gonna remember them forever, honestly. The hardest part of saying goodbye to your friends is that you know you're never gonna all be together. You're never gonna all share the same memories. And right now we're everyone's priority, but in a couple years, we're not gonna be everyone's priority, and that's really sad to me. 
people are gonna play football and people are gonna play baseball and people are gonna play sports and that's gonna be the priority. People are gonna go to school and school's gonna be the priority. And six, seven years down the road, people are gonna get married and their family's gonna be the priority. And this is a special time because right now, we're each other's priority. I think that's the coolest thing. That, uh, I've done a lot together, we've created a lot of great memories and it's gonna be tough leaving that behind, but uh, I think we all have really bright futures in store for us, so. I don't know, just thanks to everybody for being my friend. It's not just the end, it's a new beginning. It doesn't matter about your GPA, your ACT, or you know, getting all state or all conference. It doesn't matter if you, you're the best choir singer or if you're the star of the play. Matters. It matters how good of friends you have had in high school. And this, these crew of members and the cast of 8921, they all made better people throughout the years. And hopefully, if I, when I'm successful in life, I'll look back and thank them for it. I'll always remember all you guys and, and it's been fun, so. I like having a ride no matter where I go. Yeah, I like to I like to say one thing. Um, I just want to say thank you to about a good quarter of my friends who who uh, had the brave bravery, the courage to date my sister. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I wouldn't pick any other guys to date my sister. Just so you know. Just getting to know all these guys and experiencing every single thing together, being together for all of high school, seeing our friendship truly form into what it is now, it's just, it really hits me, I don't know. Some people say high school can suck and once you get past it, everything else is, it gets better, but I think, and, Along with high school, but everything in life, you got you got people you love around you. No matter what the circumstances are, you can be happy. Love you guys. Thanks for being great friends. For real. Had a great time. So thank you. Love all of you. I'm gonna miss all you guys. I love you. Bye, it on nine two one. Jake Feltz, what's better than cold beer? Oh, uh, Dinsky and Malivsky's a little better, but nothing much.